Now, this is an important story that has been published on the front page in many editions of the Times of India newspaper today. It speaks about two possibilities relating to two big board examinations, both class 10 and class 12 that will be conducted by the CBSE and the ICSE Council, the two national boards in the country. Now, I would want you to stay till the end of the video to know what is being suggested according to this newspaper report and also more importantly, what it means for you students, the stakeholders. Now, what has happened so far? The syllabus, as you know, has been reduced by about 25 to 30 percent. Of course, it varies from subject to subject, but this is what largely both the board, CBSC, as well as the Council of for ICSC claim is the average reduction across different subjects. Now, taking a cue from the two national boards, many state boards have also done the same, like in Telangana, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, they have also reduced a bit of their syllabus, again by the same percentage, more or less about 25 percent. But the larger question that is being raised is whether this reduction will be enough. Why this question is being raised now is because most schools are struggling to complete even the 70 to 75 percent of the syllabus that has been mandated for the academic year 2020-21. And all of them, as you know, are in the online mode of teaching. So the boards, according to this Times of India report, is actually considering two options. First, to further reduce the syllabus, that is from the 70 to 75 percent of the syllabus that is mandated now, reduce it to about 50 percent, which means shave off another 20 to 25 percent of the syllabus. This, that will, of course, have to take into consideration that the students should not suffer, uh, both in class 11, when they actually graduate from class 10 to class 11, it should not be the case that they have not understood most of the concepts they should ideally understand in class 10 and therefore they struggle in the next academic year or in colleges once the class 12 students pass out of school and move over into the higher education domain. Point number two, the consideration is to extend this academic year and complete the syllabus, that is the 70 to 75 percent syllabus which has been mandated. What it would necessitate is to further push the examination date by about 45 to 60 days, which means to conduct the examination sometime in the month of April, May instead of February, March when it is usually held. As you know, as you are aware, if you look at the CBSE website, the CBSE in a very detailed note had said that it would like to start its board examinations with effect from the 15th of February, which means on schedule. And you know that once the CBSE decides that basically adds as the benchmark for all the other different boards and examinations also to conduct their examinations. Now the Telangana Intermediate Boards it did something slightly different. It conducted its final examinations last year starting from around the 4th of March 2020, the last academic year. But this time for 2021, it has decided to defer it by 20 days already and it said that its final examinations will start from the 24th of March 2021. Now, we'll have to see, depending on what the CBSC and the ICSC decide, whether different state boards like Telangana will further advance the date of their final examinations. Now, the Times of India reports quotes an unnamed CBSC senior official saying, and I quote, post 30 percent reduction in July, there have been no normal classes and if the situation continues like this, there is likelihood of further reduction of the syllabus for the board examinations. The board will take a call soon on whether to, whether to conduct the examinations on 70 percent or 50 percent of the syllabus. Okay, so that's an important statement coming. Even Gary Arathon, the other person who has been quoted in this particular story, who is the chief executive of the ICSC Council, he is quoted at saying, given the present scenario, there is a possibility of further reduction of the ICSC syllabus, right? In fact, ICSC for many subjects has reduced it not once but twice already, right? So we'll have to see whether they do it a third time now if we are to take Gary Arathon's statement at face value. He goes on to say, though one cannot say to what extent it will be slashed for the 2021 examinations. He also says that the council is waiting for some kind of directive, possibly from the education ministry, on pushing the board examinations to the month of April, May. Now, why this is important is because of three reasons. And you need to understand so that you can see the entire issue in perspective. And that's what Study Visudir gives you gives you the cover but also gives you the perspective on how to look and understand 
this piece of information. Point number one, online classes is leading to a situation basically of haves and have nots, right? Uh, students who have the technological aids, a laptop or a good quality mobile phone, decent internet connectivity, they are able to manage. Of course, there is screen fatigue, but at least they are able to have access to online learning, online teaching. But those students who do not have access to these are actually losing out. There was a story from Karnataka where students were actually sitting huddled together at a bus stop because that's the only place where they would get network connectivity on their mobile phones in order to access the online teaching which was being given out. So you can understand the kind of circumstances in which students in rural in areas and students in urban areas are coping with online teaching. So basically this means that there is a non-level playing field. There isn't a level playing field and that won't be fair to all those students who are not able to access the online classes. Point number two, the quality of online teaching itself varies from school to school. A school in Mumbai, a school in Delhi, a school in Hyderabad would be able to kind of largely provide quality online education. But the same cannot be said about schools in small towns, in villages where they are not able to have quality online education because largely you need to understand and empathize with the fact that teachers were never trained to actually talk and teach to a camera, right? They were always um, taught as per as far as their BA degree courses etc were concerned to be able to interact with the students, have a, that human interaction, teacher to student interaction and be able to impart learning, impart education. So in that sense, since the quality of online teaching also varies from school to school, from town to town, from city to city, that will also again create a disparity when it comes to preparation of students for the final board examinations. Uh, point number three, Physical classes would of course take care of the issue if physical classes start that is but given the present situation as we know parents are extremely reluctant to send their wards to school right now. But even as this is the situation two other important developments have taken place in the last few days. The CBSE in fact yesterday released its sample papers for class 10 and class 12 right and we will do a separate video discussing the new format for the English paper. You need to understand as to what are the changes that have been introduced as far as the CBSE board examination new format is concerned for class 10 and class 12. Uh, there are some school point number two there are some schools that are insisting on offline examinations in the month of October. There have been many of you who have been writing to me about that even though every parent is not willing but they are, they are really not being given a choice as far as examinations are concerned. They are saying Classes will continue to do online classes, but examinations will have to be physical, they will have to be offline. And many of the schools are actually saying that this will serve as a dress rehearsal of sorts for the 2021 board examinations where you will need to kind of sit in an examination hall wearing a mask, sometimes even wearing gloves, obeying all the following all the standard operating procedures. So they believe that this kind of physical examination drill is important right now in order to prepare these 15 year old, 16 year old, 17 year old students for the final board examination. So that's the information as of now. Stay tuned to this space for news without the noise. But this is important and we will need to see what the CBSC and the ICSC council decide both about the examination dates as well as about the syllabus. Thank you very much for watching.